Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation that summarizes our work regarding improved phase unwrapping method applied to Sentinel-1 differential interferograms. SAR interferometry is a widely used technique for topography or displacement measurement. In fact, for many applications in geosciences, SAR images are used to generate an interferometric phase which is proportional to the telemetric measurement. However, the interferometric phase is ambiguous and needs to be unwrapped before being converted to altitude or deformation. Since the interferometric phase is known modulo 2 pi, it needs a phase unwrapping algorithm to reconstruct the absolute phase. Many methods were developed using a global or a local approach. The standard algorithm for a local approach unwraps the phase following a continuous directional path, but phase discontinuities generate a propagated error. To overcome this limitation, the branch cut algorithm was the first method developed. It consists on first locate the phase, the phase discontinuities by computing a residue grid. Then a branch cut mask is generated by connecting residues of opposite polarities. And finally, it proceeds with a standard phase unwrapping, avoiding the cut. This processing prevents error propagation. However, pixels under cuts and isolated area are still unwrapped. Since the residue are mostly located on incoherent area, post bench cut unwrapping guided by the quality algorithm were developed. The performance of these methods depends on the quality image chosen. So in this slope for our proposed method, we generated an optimal quality map using the principal component analysis. Furthermore, homogeneous and heterogeneous zones are proce processed differently. The proposed processing is as follows. We locate the first cut pixel. If 75% of the neighborhood is already unwrapped, then if 95% of the neighborhood has the same absolute phase, then the area is considered as homogeneous and the cut pixels take the same absolute phase value. Else, the area is considered as heterogeneous and the cut pixels take the value of the local minimum that has the best quality. These steps are re repeated until all pixels are unwrapped. For our test, we use Sentinel-1 SLC images of Algus and SRTM to generate a differential interferogram. To compare our algorithm with a known reference, we simulated a deformation. Then, we merged the simulated phase to the real interferogram. To illustrate the accuracy of the reconstruction, we plotted a horizontal profile on the obtained deformation. Then we compared our method with the phase unwrapping guided by quality algorithm and the minimum cost flow algorithm. From observing the horizontal profiles, the results are identical. So we use the color composition to highlight the differences which are observed on incoherent area. Finally, for quantitative compar comparison, we calculate the mean square error for each method. From this comparison and from this comparison index, we can see that our method has a better reconstruction even in incoherent areas with a minimum error. In conclusion, this presentation focused on the problem of phase unwrapping on which we proposed a method that improves the, phase, the branch cut phase unwrapping algorithm. And we have to emphasize that for this case, the proposed method offers a better result compared to some other methods. However, this solution might not be con conclusive for all interferograms and all types of deformation. Finally, the phase unwrapping remains as an open problem that provides possibilities for further improvement. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, please feel free to send me an email.